Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to remove the uh, fuel rail from an F-150. I actually let my dad do this one. He uh, he knows his truck better than I do, so he's going to go ahead and show you guys. So if something seems strange, it's all his fault. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Um, yeah, so rate, comment, and subscribe if you like. Today we're going to remove some injectors from a 2007 F-150 to clean them out. First of all, you need to make sure you get some good lighting so you can see everything that you're doing very clearly. We're going to be remove the power steering pump and then the hose that's right underneath. And it's really not necessary to remove the power steering pump, but it's very convenient for space. You got three screws that you need to loosen and take off. And then you want to set it off to the side. And you've got some little clips. This little clip right here is the one you need to push over to release. You push it and the hose comes right up like this. And you do the same thing to the opposite end. You got the clip in the back on this one. You just move it back and lift it up and it comes right out. Now the next step is removing the wires so you can make room for the fuel rail to be able to lift off. And the way you disconnect this first wire right here is you move this red button right here back. Like this, like so. It's like this. And you just push it back, release it, and it releases the clip. Same thing with the one on the bottom. You just press it and it pulls right out. And the one, this other one in the back, same thing. You just move the, the little red button that's on the bottom. It's kind of hidden, but it's in the bottom. And you move it back like this. And it's kind of hard to get in there, so you might want to get a screwdriver and stick it in here. You want to stick a screwdriver in here to help you loosen it. And once you do that, it pulls it back and releases it. You need to remove the vacuum hose for the brakes. And that one has two clips right here. And you're going to actually need two sets of pliers to move it. You need to squeeze both of them at the same time, like this. Like this. And then you get your other pair of pliers. And you squeeze it. And you move both of them back because they're both clips that are put together. And the next step is you just get your pliers right here. Turn it like this to loosen it. And that will let you remove it easier. You just pull it like so and you just connect it from here and then you're gonna stick your needle nose pliers here to disconnect the hose from here you pull it and it disconnects from there and you just move it over to the side to make room and the next one is going to be this other vacuum hose right here for your 4x4 all you do is squeeze it right here and pull it and it disconnects pull it off to the side the next one is going to be this one here. All you do is squeeze this right here. And it pulls apart. Like so. You move that one out of the way. And the next one is this vacuum hose right here. And you pull it back. You remove that, and as you can see, look at all the space that's available to you right now. So when you loosen these screws right here, you got room. And this is just going to come up your fuel rail. It's just going to come up this way after you disconnect your main gas line right here. To disconnect your main gas line, you need those special tools that connect in the back to loosen your rail, just like the ones you use for your AC. I'd also like to add that you should remove your gas cap in order to release pressure from the fuel tank. That way, when you do remove this line, you don't get a bunch of spray everywhere. For this next step, you got to make sure you put on your goggles because when you release the main line, the main fuel line, you usually have a lot of fuel pressure and when it releases, it uh, splashes gasoline all over the place and you want to make sure it doesn't get into your eyes so you got to make sure you put on your safety goggles. You're going to be using this special tool right here to remove the, the fuel, fuel line and all it is is a 5 8 is the size that you need and you first of all you remove this, this, this uh, lock from here, it's in here, you just remove it and then you put this in here like this. Like so, then all you do is push back on it, and you can feel right there where it released it, and just pull it back. Oh, this one didn't have any fuel pressure. 
which is pretty good but usually you want to wear your goggles because this right here when you release this it releases a lot of pressure all over the place as you can see now we've removed all the lines and we've got all the room so we can as soon as we remove these screws right here this rail is going to come lift right off and we're going to be able to get to our fuel injectors pretty easy now we need to work on the other side to do the same thing and the first thing we're going to have to remove is these lines right here that are in the way you remove this line first of all by turning this right here see this little green button right here you just pull it down and just pull the hose back and it releases it okay that one is out of the way and you're just going to put it out where it's not going to bother you and this one right here it's got a little cover right here and all you do is you lift up this cover right here you want to lift up this cover right here and you've got a, a little red safety lock right here this one right here and this one you just want to get a screwdriver and you want to lift it up right here which we have already done so you lift it up with a screwdriver right here and all you do is put pressure right here right in here you push it in and oh my felt it release right there right as soon as you pull the pressure you just pull it up and there it is it comes right up and you want to remove it out of the way and as you can see all this area right here we're ready to remove these two bolts off of the rail out of the fuel rail and as soon as we remove those bolts right there we're going to be able to remove the fuel rail and get our fuel injectors out okay now we're getting ready to remove the fuel injector connectors those are real simple all they do is have all they have is a little uh, clip on the top and all you do is depress it in and it pulls right off like so like so and you gotta do this to all eight of them the next step is loosening the fuel rail with an eight millimeter socket and a small extension You also have to remove this vacuum hose from this side right here because it's in the way of the fuel rail to get it out. So you just do that by pulling this and move it out of the way. That's it. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and remove the air duct where the air filter goes. And you need a 10 millimeter deep socket with an extension and a ratchet. And you just loosen these bolts right here, these two right here. And you got two of them exactly the same on the other side and you just loosen those and they come out pretty easy and this is pretty much what you're removing right here right here and since you've already removed everything all the hoses and everything it's pretty easy all you do is loosen it from back here pull it and it comes off of the um, off of the rail where it's connected and you just pull it from right here, right here. You come off of there, and you gotta loosen this screw right here. Also, you got one right here. You loosen that just a little bit, right there, and it's got like a self uh, alignment mechanism on there. And you just pull it, and it comes right off. And this thing just lifts right off. The air gun just lifts right off completely. You just put that off to the side, you don't need it for now. And as you can see, look at all the space you have right here. So you can get to the fuel injectors right here. And since we've already removed the screws right here, all you do is uh, look at it very carefully to make sure you don't break the fuel injectors. And right here we've got them disconnected. And all you do is right here, you just gotta wiggle it a little bit and they come right off. All right here, and you do the same thing to the other side. right off and since we've got all the fuel injectors disconnected the fuel rail comes right off And 
then this is your fuel roll right here and these are your fuel injectors right here. And this is the way you remove the fuel injector off of the fuel rail. It's got this little lock clip right here. And as you can see, it's locked right here. So all you do is just stick the screwdriver behind it, lift it up, and it, it folds out and push the other one out. And it comes right out. Just jiggle it out till it comes out. And then you just remove this. You're going to need to remove this clip. Just stick your screwdriver in here and pull it up. And it comes right out like so. And just put it in a safe place because you're going to need it to put it back together. Okay, so we got these uh, jumper cables. They're going to hook up to the battery. And they just run this way. And that's just so that we don't have to hook it up straight to the truck. Um, what you're going to want to do is get an, two alligator clips and connect them to these. In this case, it doesn't matter what side that you put them on. So you're going to want to just put one in on one and... On the second one, just make sure they don't touch. Okay, and as you can see here, we have a momentary switch. This is just to open and close the injector. So you have control over it. You need to have this momentary switch because if you just hook it up straight, you risk blowing the injector. And I just have these two connected to their ends. I'll put up a circuitry diagram later. Uh, look right in the description and you guys can see it. Okay. Connect the battery. Okay, so all I'm doing is fitting this in here and as you can tell it fits loose. We need to have a tight fit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in there to seal. and use uh, super glue to seal it. So all I'm going to do is right here on the edge put a few dots, make sure it goes all the way around and give it a minute or two to dry. After it has been removed from the fuel rail, you need to remove the gasket so you can put it into the syringe. You remove the gaskets by pushing it up with a screwdriver like so, put them down and then you do the same thing to the other one. There's plenty of videos on how to do this on YouTube, go ahead and look for one. And now you place it into the syringe backwards so you can the flow will come out backwards. Like so, it'll fit in there perfect. Just put it under nice and tight and there it fits right in. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and press the momentary switch and the sprayer to open up the injector while we spray it. There you go. That should clean it out right there. Now all you gotta do is flip it and do it in the other direction. This is reverse. Okay, so now we're pushing the carbon cleaner in the other direction. Put it right where it was spraying. Yeah. Alright, well just some additional comments. When we were working on this, super glue didn't work too well because it kept coming off of the syringe. So what we ended up doing was with a lighter, we ended up burning the syringe and melting it to the stick that was with that little red stick that came with the sprayer. So that's an idea. I think we just didn't let the super glue dry enough, but I mean, that's for you guys to decide. There's plenty of videos out on YouTube, so you guys can go ahead and look for one. Um, this was just basically a teardown of the F-150 up to the fuel rail, so you guys any questions just put them on the comments and I'll do my best to get back at you